Hello, it's uh, 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have uh, the Prime Minister holds talks with the President of the Confederations of African Football. The Minister of uh, Labour wishes uh, happy holidays on uh, 1st May. For the international scene, uh, the death uh, toll continues to rise after Hurricane Kenneth. Uh, welcome to our newsroom. Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has received the President of the African Football Confederation, uh, Mr. Ahmed Ahmed, uh, in the Prime Minister's office on Tuesday morning, introduced uh, by the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, Mr. Hassan Mohammed Kamil. Mr. Ahmed Ahmed was accompanied by the President of the Jewish Football Federation, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Wabiri. The meeting took place uh, in the presence of the Secretary General of the Prime Minister's Office, uh, Mr. Nagib uh, Abdullah uh, Kamil, and the advisor to the Prime Minister, uh, Ali Silai. On the agenda of this meeting was capacity building uh, at the basic training level to support football education for children. The official visit of the head of the CAF to Djibouti is uh, important for the promotion and development of uh, this flagship discipline in Djibouti. On the social level, the creation of uh, training schools and the development of infrastructure, particularly in decentralized communities, contribute to the development of children's uh, life uh, skills uh, through the essential values of football. It takes a whole decade, so even a generation, is to reach uh, a certain level and have uh, a national team that is competitive uh, at the continental level. The two men agreed on the importance of detecting football talent at an early stage and as part of a more comprehensive sports policy. It is with this in mind. Uh, and with a view to raising the level of Djibouti's football that the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport mentioned it, the construction of a football academy within which a training, a training school will be set up. At the end of the meeting, Prime Minister thanked the African football boss for his visit to Djibouti and assured him of the government willingness to strengthen the partnership of with of uh, the president of uh, CAF uh, arrived uh, on Monday to start an official visit for EGS Academy seminars, which take place from 29th April to 3 May. Mr. Ahmed Ahmed said that the football promotion requires the involvement of all stakeholders, uh, including government and civil society. For the president of the Djiboutian Football Federation, Mr. Suleiman Hassan Wabiri, the presence of the president of CAF in Djibouti is a visibility for football, he said. Under the leadership of the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, His Excellency Hassan Mohammed Kamil is organized last night uh, at Djibouti Sheraton Hotel evenings in honor of the delegation is representing the African sports so war of football driving uh, led uh, by the President of the African Football Confederation recalled that the President of the CAF, Mr. Ahmed Ahmed, uh, at the head of a large sport delegation, is welcomed yesterday morning in the capital, Djibouti, by the Secretary of State, Hassan Mohamed Kamil, and all senior officials of the Ministerial Department of Youth and Sport, the staff of the Djiboutian Football Federation, as well as uh, the 23 Sports Djiboutian Federation. The colorful gala evening crowned by cultural events, folk dances, and musical entertainment of uh, modern song is uh, punctuated by a series of speech delivered on, the, on that occasion, raising uh, the general enthusiasm in front of an audience of officials and sport guests. Uh, in his speech, uh, Secretary of State Hassan Mohamed Kamil highlighted the vital importance of the CAF president's uh, visit uh, to the Republic of Djibouti, the minister said that the arrivals of the president of CAF in Djibouti is not a coincidence because it uh, comes at the, ninth, at the right moment 
on this eve of a final phase of the African Cup of Nations. Uh, the National Human Rights Commission is with the assistance of NIAP is uh, UNFPA uh, is organizing a workshop on uh, 30 April uh, and 2 May 2019 at the Hotel Acacia on the implementation of the for the benefit of a parliamentarian. This workshop is part of an action program aimed at uh, improving national capacity in advocacy monitoring reporting on reproductive health rights, particularly the genital mutilation and gender-based violence. The President of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Ahmed, presided over the openings of the workshop with the President of the National Commission for Human Rights uh, and the head of the UNFPA uh, Djibouti office. Uh, this workshop is uh, the second organized with the National Assembly always on gender-based violence and in particular the two days of uh, the workshop will be facilitated by national experts uh, Mr. Uh, Abdul Qadir Hassan and an international expert even Carmen specializes on the theme of gender-based violence. Uh, there will be several presentation sessions and discussion, debate and group work of session. For his part, the President of the National Commission for Human Rights, Taliban uh, Omar Udin, has explained that the workshops will be facilitated by national experts uh, and international experts uh, specialized on the theme of gender-based violence. Uh, the President of the National Assembly, Mohammed Ali Hummed, urged the parliamentarian to participate fully in uh, exchanges and debate and to make uh, fruitful contributions to the effective uh, implementation of the law of the genital uh, mutilations. He also encouraged them to make uh, recommendations on both the fight against uh, genital uh, mutilations uh, and gender-based violence. Uh, the Chairman of Commissions for Social Development and the Environment, Dr. Ahmed Robley Abdillah, chaired two committee meetings with the Ministers of Labor and the second meeting with the participation of the State Secretary for Social Affairs, uh, Ms. Muna Osman. The work of uh, the Commission is in the presence of the Member of Commission, the Government, and the representative of the Executive. Uh, three bills were on the agenda bill amending certain provisions of the Act establishing the National Fund of Social Security, draft law on the National Social Protection Strategy, and final, finally the Social Economy Bill. The discussions were intense between the member of the Executive Committee which concluded with an agreement to be forwarded to the Committee of the Hall for Adoption. On the occasions of the International Worker Days, uh, which falls on uh, Wednesday, uh, the 1st May, the Minister of Labor in charge of administrative reform, Mr. Hassan Idris Samriye, made a statement uh, to the national television in which he discussed the efforts inverted uh, to fight unemployment, especially among qualified youth uh, on the first days of uh, May. On the occasions of the Labor Day, I express to you, he say, on behalf of the President of the Republic, the government, and my own behalf, uh, my wishes for, for a happy holiday for all the workers uh, in the hope that God will help everyone and enable him uh, to achieve his aspirations. The authorities have done a lot of work for the youth uh, in the fight against employment and poverty reduction and job creation is, in, is uh, the priority objective. Unemployment remains a source of uh, concerns that the government is struggling to address uh, jobs that are provide provided by the public or private sectors are not sufficient to accommodate those uh, who wish to enter the labor market uh, where young graduates find it very difficult to integrate uh, into professional life because they do not have uh, the qualifications or opportunities available.
the contributions of the public service to the fight against unemployment will be limited because the wages of bill is already unsustainable. In this regard, the government has high hopes for the multimedia systems and free zone, which will be a source of job creation, which will reduce unemployment among young people. Thus, uh, the new free zone project at PICA 23 represent a promising future in the foreseeable future. That is why we must prepare for the optimal response to these job offers and the opportunities that will result. The Incubation Center for Micro Enterprises hosted this morning an important meeting of uh, consultation and sharing of experience between Incubate and a uh, partner of uh, successful uh, entrepreneurs uh, in, the, in their respective file. The meeting between the panels of entrepreneurs and the young people was an opportunity for each entrepreneur to recount his career and share the experience that have marked him. It was therefore a rewarding of uh, an indispensable challenge for every future CME entrepreneurs. It must be said that this day uh, is the culmination of the project of uh, employability of the Workforce Jubilee Project financed by the USAID and executed by the EDC Education Development Center and aiming at the trainings and the supervisions of young people from uh, vocational uh, trainings in the process of incubations of micro-enterprises which uh, materialized in the recent uh, inaugurations of uh, same centers of incubations of micro-enterprises uh, as defined by the political with the of uh, the President of the Republic, uh, some officially, officials expressed their sincere thanks uh, to the companies invited for these days, including the representative of the firm consulting and accounting uh, firms, uh, fishings and maritime services, the firm is uh, Ahmed, the cabinet architecture, hotel hosted and the pastries uh, Le Fournil uh, for their presence and their contribution in terms of experience. Uh, a bilateral meeting took place uh, this afternoon in the campus between Djibouti Telecom officials led by Djibouti Director General Mr. Mohamed Asawe Bouh and the two Telecom delegation is composed of five people, among them the general manager is Free, free Highwood uh, Tamiru. The officials uh, discuss uh, several interesting topics. Uh, and through all this uh, history, Djibouti Telecom has been with us especially in serving us on the international gateway and the connectivity, international connectivity. We believe that this partnership will be uh, more strength to uh, leverage out of the cooperation. In the 21st century, I don't believe that competition is only enough for uh, any nation development and growth. We need to cooperate more, especially when it comes to Africa. We need to really cooperate and work hard. The general manager of Djibouti Telecom, Mohamed uh, Asoui Bou, has stressed that Ethiopia is a big uh, cooperation, uh, several interesting topics uh, in order to strengthen the bilateral relationship between the two countries uh, were discussed in this meeting, he said. A ceremony to sign a partnership agreement between uh, the mayor of uh, Djibouti City and uh, Djibouti Television Broadcasting's uh, RTD took place this morning in the meeting halls of the town hall. This partnership agreement is signed between the mayor of Djibouti, Fatuma Awale Osman, and the general director of the RTD, Ms. Suad Farah Adawe. The objective of this convention is to accompany the initiative of the city councils, which is based uh, on the cleanliness and embellishment of the city of Djibouti. The mayor of uh, Djibouti, Fatuma Awale Osman, congratulated the directors and her agents uh, who have 
done uh, remarkable jobs everywhere and need requires uh, it. Uh, she also reminded us that the media is necessary for the testimony of our daily development activities where the messages can reach the greatest numbers of people. For her part, the RTD general manager Suad Farah Adawi said the RTD is uh, the showcase of the company and uh, reminded uh, of its uh, availability to participate uh, in the development by setting up awareness spot and a program devoted exclusively to the town hall of Djibouti. Also present were the president of the municipality of Rastika and uh, also the neighborhood uh, councillors and the wisest and the elders uh, of the neighborhood. For his part, the president of the Bulaos municipality, Mr. Uh, Muhammad uh, Omar Ismail, has welcomed the f first f RTD general manager, Saad Farah Adawi, who have uh, done a remarkable jobs everywhere and need uh, requires it. She also remind, he also reminded us that the media is necessary for the testimony of our daily development activities where the messages can reach the greatest number of people, he said. Under the leadership of managing directors Ahmed Al Dib, CAC International Bank officially opened his uh, its uh, VIP branch in Haramusa this morning. This agency will open up uh, the branches and thus uh, allow uh, the bank uh, to get closer to its most prestigious customers, uh, namely the VIPs of the Haramus city. Since uh, its establishment uh, in Djibouti, the bank has. Uh, Striven is to diversify its uh, customers uh, through the countries by setting up uh, branches in the capital. CAC Bank's main objective is to satisfy its uh, customers uh, in terms of banking service, so uh, whatever the cost is. In addition to the general directors of CAC Bank, Mr. Ahmed Al Dib, the governors of the central bank, uh, Mr. Ahmed Osman, the secretary general of the prime minister office, Mr. Uh, Nagib Abdullah Kamil, the diplomat accredited to Djibouti and businessmen took part in the inauguration ceremony of the VIP agency. After the ribbons cuttings, the guests were given a guided towers of the VIP agency. The participants welcomed the effort made by CAC Bank to support effort to promote economic and social development in our countries. Uh, let's recall that the head of state, Ismail Omar Gele, officially opened the branch of CAC International Bank in November 2009. As part of the Solid West uh, Management Project funded by the French uh, Development Agency, the Djibouti Social Development Agency, ADDS, will uh, organize these Thursdays, April 25, uh, at the Center for Social Action and Women's Empowerment in Balbala, an information and awareness raising workshop on management activities and environmental protection is set up as part of uh, the project in the presence of the Acting Director General of the ADDS, uh, Mr. Diri Farah Sultan, the ADDS project managers, Mohammed Musa, representative of the various uh, associations and local elected officials. Uh, the objective of the project is to improve the living conditions of the local population and reduce relatives and extreme poverty, but to manage solid waste in a national way. In the mornings of uh, 27 April 2009, the first president of the course of appeal, uh, Ms. Nimali, was accompanied by uh, five uh, councillors, uh, namely Ms. Uh, Aisha Arafat Abubakar, Hassan, Ms. Muna Al Hassan, Degan uh, Yusuf Ibrahim, Mr. Ahmed Halatu Detta, Mr. Uh, Fatih Hussein Isman, in charge of uh, criminal cases, uh, indictment chambers of uh, correctional chamber, visit the International School for the Improvement of Judicial Police uh, Practice. Uh, Upon their arrival, they were welcomed by the squadron's leader, Hussein Mohammed Qayyad, directors of the International School, so for the further trainings of judicial police located at uh, Pika 23. 
After the welcome address to the entire delegation, a presentation of the schools was made by the school commander. This flagship is the pillars of trainings in judicial policy and technical and scientific policy. Taking this opportunity, a squadron leader, Hussein uh, Mohammed Qayyad, mentioned that this school was also an instrument of uh, justice and that it is uh, intended to train and perfect trainees uh, for Afri from African and Indian Ocean countries uh, in hearing and investigation techniques and crim in criminal investigations. Uh, the school uh, commander stressed that the visit of this uh, magistrate of the Court of Appeal testify once again uh, to the importance they attach uh, to in establishing uh, perfect collaboration between the internal uh, security forces which are the secular armies of the judiciary and the judges. Uh, finally, the de delegations visit uh, the infrastructure consisting of classrooms, si simulations uh, room and forensic laboratories as well as uh, the documentation and information center. The very fruitful exchanges made it possible to discuss the expectations of judge in the file of judicial investigation and forensic uh, commissions of the planning departments of the MENFOP, led by the technical advisor, Mr. Mohamed Sanalase. The director of uh, planning, uh, Mr. Mohamed Sanalase, and the di director of planning, Mr. Mirani, went uh, to Dikhil uh, within uh, the framework of the sensitization uh, of the new political situations of our educational systems uh, and the popularization of uh, the 2017-2020 so action plan. In this perspective, our workshop to share uh, decimated the action plans of the Ministry of National Education was held uh, within the Regional Education Department of Dekhel. Many personalities, namely the Deputy Prefect, the Vice President of the Regional Council, the Head of the Regional Service, including Inspectors uh, of Education, as well as the entire educational community attend this workshop, uh, whose theme uh, focused on the need to be able to contribute to the implementation of the transformative project of our schools initiated by our Ministry. Moving on uh, to the international news, uh, 30, 38 killed as flus uh, worsens uh, in Mozambique after second cyclone. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us. Uh.